In December 2000, the Michigan legislature made significant changes to Michigan's concealed weapons law. Public Act 381 of 2000 changed the standards for issuing concealed pistol licenses from a discretionary issue standard to a more standardized issuing standard. This video will introduce you to some of the basic provisions of this law, including amendments that took effect July 1, 2003. County gun boards have historically had the authority to issue, deny, suspend, and revoke a concealed pistol license. Under the new law, this responsibility will continue. But as of July 1, 2001, gun boards are now required to issue licenses to anyone who meets the requirements of the Act. Some of the basic requirements include the applicant must be 21 years of age or older, a citizen or resident alien of the United States and a resident of Michigan, successful completion of a pistol safety training course, never been convicted of a felony or certain misdemeanors or have felony charges pending, not subject to certain court orders, has never been involuntarily committed due to mental illness and does not have a diagnosed mental illness at the time of the application. As long as an applicant meets these and all other criteria of the Act, a concealed pistol license cannot be denied. The first step in acquiring a concealed weapons permit is obtaining an application kit. Applications are available at all county clerk's offices and at any county or local police agency. A CCW application kit consists of an application form, written procedures to obtain a pistol permit, fingerprint card, and contact information for current pistol training facilities. You may also access an application form and other information through the Internet at www.michigan.gov slash MSP. Though the application kit itself is free of charge, there is a fee for processing the application. Before you file your application with the county clerk, you must complete a certified pistol safety training course presented by a certified CCW firearms training instructor and obtain a certificate of completion. Please note that granting a certificate knowing the person did not complete the course successfully or submitting such a false certificate is a felony punishable by four years in prison and or a $2,500 fine. Return the completed application to your county clerk's office along with your pistol safety training certificate and a passport quality photograph. There you will sign the application under oath. You will receive a copy of Firearms Laws of Michigan and sign a document of acknowledgement. After filing your application and paying your application fee, you must be fingerprinted. Take your fingerprint card and a receipt from the county clerk indicating payment for your application fee to your local or county law enforcement agency. Your fingerprints will then be taken and you'll be required to pay the appropriate fingerprinting fees. Your fingerprints will be forwarded to the Michigan State Police for processing. Once your county gun board receives the report from the State Police, they will issue or deny a license within 45 days. The CCW license includes basic information about and a photograph of the license holder. Each license also has a unique number and is valid for five years. Temporary licenses valid for shorter lengths of time may also be issued under certain circumstances. The back of the license includes the license holder's signature. Once issued, your CCW license also serves as a permit to purchase a pistol, but you are possessing or using a firearm. Because you will receive and sign for a copy of Firearms Laws of Michigan, you will be held responsible for knowing about these criminal statutes. Some of these statutes include brandishing a firearm in public. This means to wave, shake, or exhibit a firearm in a menacing or challenging way, a 90-day misdemeanor. Felonious assault, which includes threatening someone with a dangerous weapon, a felony. Involuntary manslaughter, gross negligence with a pistol that causes the death of another. Murder, 
an assault where the suspect intended to kill the victim without justification. You may also be held criminally and civilly liable for any harm caused by a person less than 18 years of age, gaining unsupervised access to your unlawfully stored pistol. There's a mandatory two-year imprisonment for committing a felony with a firearm. You should familiarize yourself with these and other statutes found in Firearms Laws of Michigan. You do have the right to use force and even take a life to defend yourself or others under certain circumstances. Under Michigan law, self-defense is allowed if you honestly and reasonably believe that you or someone else are in danger of being killed, seriously injured, or forcibly sexually penetrated. Deadly force cannot be used to protect yourself against the threat of a minor injury or to protect property. Liability is another significant issue that a CCW license holder must be aware of. Shooting someone or even shooting at someone can be the basis for a civil lawsuit for money damages. You may also be sued for negligence. If a pistol is used, even in self-defense, it is likely your insurance policy's exclusionary clause releases the company from indemnifying you and the legal costs of representation if you are sued. If you are involved in a shooting incident, immediately get medical help for anyone injured. Call 911 and give your exact location. Describe what happened. Describe yourself. Upon arrival by police, understand that they will not know if you are a legally armed citizen defending yourself or an armed suspect. Follow an officer's directions and cooperate while the scene is being secured. Let's briefly review some key points. Always carry your weapon safely and store it properly when not in use. If you hold a CCW license, you must carry your license whenever a pistol is in your possession. During contact with police, you must inform the officer if you have a pistol in your possession. You may not carry a concealed pistol while under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance. Carrying a concealed pistol in a pistol-free zone is prohibited. There are many criminal statutes associated with possession or use of a pistol. You are responsible for familiarizing yourself with them. Seek legal counsel prior to carrying your pistol. Remember, the right to use deadly force to defend yourself can only be used under certain circumstances. You are encouraged to do everything possible to avoid a situation calling for the use of firearms. If you are involved in a shooting, call 911 immediately. Remember, when police arrive, follow their instructions and cooperate while they secure the scene. Be aware that you may be held liable for the use of a firearm. Your insurance policy may or may not cover your actions. Check your insurance policy for coverage. This has been a brief overview of the CCW legislation and issues related to legally carrying a concealed weapon. This is not meant to be an all-inclusive summary. Keep yourself current on changes to the law and regularly go to the shooting range and practice with your pistol. Through a cooperative effort between police and citizens, we can make Michigan's CCW law work.